Hey, good evening, everyone. This is Adam Schomer uh, here with our Wednesday night meditation. If you've been coming for a while, we've been doing this for a few years. So every Wednesday evening, again, my name is Adam Schomer, producer of Heal, Heal created by the amazing Kelly Gores. And uh, always happy to be here with you. We do a nice 10 minutes of pranayama, so breath work, prana meaning energy, yama, alignment. So pranayama is the alignment of our energy you know, energetic body, we know energy exists, using breath. So breath is the language to communicate to the energetic body, tap us in a little more to the energetic body. Hello. Yeah, let us know where you're joining in from. Reina, nice to see you. Let us know where in the world you're coming from. We do this meditation every Wednesday. Uh, nice to see you, El. And today we'll, like normal, do 10 minutes of breath work, three different pranayamas, and then some spoken word to help really dial that in. Um, <clears throat> I'm feeling like we'll do a balancing with the breath work. We'll do a lot of balancing breath. And then um, with the mantra, we'll see what comes. So <laughs> once we do the breath work, then it'll be clear to me what we use. Montreal, wonderful. Nice to have you over here. I would love to come to Montreal. I love Canada. It's amazing. I was just in Toronto recently. So I uh, love Canada. North Carolina, India. India is my second home. Hello, Satish. My second home is India. Love Rishikesh, India, where I try to go every year and you know, be by the banks of the Ganga River where yoga was born, so to speak. Uh, I'm just, I'll put my website in as well. <clears throat> and I do a similar type of meditation every Monday around 11, usually every Monday at 11 a.m. And you can join the email list for that if you like. And uh, I'll let you know every time that it happens. This Monday, it'll be 11. Last Monday, we did it with a special healer friend of mine, Sky. We did an hour-long session. It was quite amazing. Uh, anyway, back to today. We'll meditate. We'll start in about one minute if you want to get situated. Nice seated position is good. Laying down will work as well. Hello from Alabama. Good. Good to see you. Again, I just put my website in there. If you have any questions I don't get to or you want to see the other free offerings, just go to adam.yoga and... Um, it should be quite clear, good. Always time for questions at the end. Uh, someone's from Lake Michigan in Wisconsin, amazing. I grew up in Michigan on the Great Lakes. Where is Jackson? Someone's asking, I'm glad you asked. Let me see if he wants to come in, I'll open the door. Jackson is my cat. He's outside sleeping on the porch, so we'll see if he comes in once we start meditating. He usually likes to be around this kind of energy. Good. We start in one minute. Mexico, Canada, amazing. Good. <laughs> yes, Meg Jackson. He's a good little one. So, good, good, good. Any questions, again, we'll get to it at the end. We do three pranayamas. Uh, for those that have been following, <laughs> for those that have been following, we switched the name from At Heal Documentary to At Heal with Kelly. Okay, likewise, the website is either Heal Documentary, but that forwards you to healwithkelly.co, you know, because uh, we're planning more and more things that Kelly will be in the, the conferences that Kelly will run and the podcast that she keeps doing and more and more events that she's involved in. So it means a lot of expansion and new changes and good opportunities. So let's go ahead and meditate. Again, thank you for joining. We'll close the eyes. Come into the space, and when I say that, come into the space, meaning meditation really isn't about pushing everything away or trying to get to some state of nothingness, you know. Invariably, the emptiness <laughs> contains so much life, right? Nature is still in its essence, but it's super dynamic. So the stillness means calm, it's not worried. So we can help instill that calm, that parasympathetic state. Yes, we can work on tuning in our energy, but it's not that we're pushing all of life away, okay? So just bear this in mind as we begin. So we like to include the sensations. So take some time in your awareness to note the body and any sensations in the body. Yeah. And also include in the awareness sounds. Might be the first time in the day you're like, oh yeah, there's birds. Or 
just expand the ears. Good, and we also include in our awareness any thoughts. So just noting what thoughts are swirling around or also feelings. Thoughts might be the conditioned patterns of thought and the feelings would be the reaction to them, the emotions based on our interpretation of a thought. Someone could have the thought, oh, I have so much to do. One person can feel anxiety for that. Another person can feel gratitude. Just depends on context of thought. So we just include it though. We just become aware of it, of our feelings, our thoughts, okay? And then also include the earth. This is awareness training, really. We're growing our awareness. Include the air that we breathe. <clears throat> Include the sun in our awareness. Amazing. And also include that which we call prana, consciousness. Life force. Chi, it's called. The force also. Prana. First breath will help stabilize. It's three inhales through the mouth to make one inhale, the Vilom breath. So inhale, through the mouth, pause. Inhale, pause, and then inhale again, pause. Focus at the third eye, that means at the forehead, just the awareness there, and then exhale through the nose. Sip in through the mouth three times, in, pause, in, pause, in, Pause, focus third eye, and then exhale. Let's keep this going for three minutes. The Vilom breath really stabilizes the nervous system. Your own pace. and enjoy the simplicity of it. Keep it going about another minute. And then release the breath, just check in. Breathe normally in and out through the nose. Notice any difference. Good. 
The next one is the stabilizing breath, the, the balancing and stabilizing breath. So you inhale through the left nostril. If you want to use your thumb and fingers, you can close your right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril for about five, six seconds. You're inhaling up the left side as well. So the focus is up on the left side, left nostril. Then hold the breath, focus at the third eye for about five, six seconds. And then the exhale is down the right side, right nostril. Mm -hmm. Then we inhale back up the right side, right nostril, five, six seconds. Pause the breath, same count. Exhale, left side, left nostril. And we're really connecting again to the prana. So you feel as you inhale up the left side, feel the prana on this side. Eventually, <clears throat> excuse me, focus it at the third eye and eventually down the other side, back and forth like that. Again, we go a few minutes. <clears throat> Keep it going, <clears throat> another minute or so. Maybe go a little bit longer on each breath. Maybe it's even 10 seconds on one side, 10 seconds holding and 10 seconds the other side. Good, and release next time you're <clears throat> at an exhale, release, check in. Good. And then the last one we'll do is breath of light to help expand the awareness a little bit, so. Seven inhales through the nose, seven short inhales to make one complete inhale. Then pause the breath, focus third eye, and then exhale through the nose. Just like that, simple, three minutes. Seven little inhales to make one. You pause it at the third eye and exhale. You just practice this. If thoughts come, no problem. Just practice positively reinforce the awareness right meaning if you become aware of a thought that's a good thing you're not upset that you have a thought positive reinforcement for the awareness of the thought and then the choice to come back and do the breath and focus that simple so that we retrain the muscle toward awareness
keep it going. This is called the breath of light. About one more minute. Good, and release the breath, just again check in. Notice the prana, right? Be with the energy. Good, in this nice parasympathetic state, we have an open communication right to the whole system. And this energetic body information Communication travels incredibly quickly to all parts. So we can thus program, remind ourselves of the true nature. So let's say this out loud. You say, we'll do each one five times. You say, I can be with this. I am free. Really, that I can, whatever the situation is now, whatever is going on, whatever circumstances, that we can drop the resistance and we can be with this. So I can be with this. I am free. And breathe into that, really take that on, embody it. I can be with this. I am free. Yeah, all of it. It is freedom. You know? I can be with this. I am free. Embody that. Really breathe into it, know it in every cell that you can be with whatever is going on. All the circumstances right now in life. Mm -hmm. I can be with this. I am free. Yes. Stress starts to ease away very quickly. Last time, I can be with this. I am free. It's not about controlling life. Can we be with it? It's a dynamic dance. Very difficult to control. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> the next one, I release resentments oh i release resentments i am free so whatever comes up if it's a person or it's a something you're doing you know a job or a project or a group of people i release resentment i am free really try that out breathe into it say it again i release resentment I am free. I blame no one. Right? I'm not willing to play a victim here. I'm not willing to stay angry. 
Well, of course, there's a responsibility on both parts, my own and other people. But I release resentment. I am free. One last time, I release resentment. I am free. Yeah, last one. I forgive myself. I am free. This can be a tough one for people sometimes, sometimes. I forgive myself, mean it, and really embody it, even if we're just trying it on for a minute. I totally forgive myself. Any reactions today, any whatever, any fallings down, so to speak, any ignorance, I forgive myself. I am free. Right? Don't wait for the confession, <laughs> you know, for the priest to do it. Just you absolve yourself at this moment. Try it on and notice how much energy, more energy is available. I forgive myself. I am free. Two more times. I forgive myself. You want to say it out loud. I am free. I forgive myself. I am free. Very good. And then embody all three of these. So I forgive myself, I release resentment, and I can be with this. Moment. In fact, it's really nice to be with it all. Because we're just including life and it's an expansion, expansive feeling, ultimately. I can be with this. I release the resentment. And I forgive myself. And just stay for a minute in this. Allow energy in, allow light in. You can laugh at the thoughts that try to work their way in, you know, that try to tell you, no, no, you can't feel okay with everything. No, you can't feel free. You can't forgive yourself. Watch the thoughts that maybe come in and try and say, but what about, and laugh at them. Get to know them a little bit. But your life's not perfect yet. Oh, but you don't have the perfect body yet. Oh, but you don't have the perfect amount of money. Ah, oh, whatever it comes in. We kind of laugh at it and say, no, now. I can be with this all now. And I can forgive myself now. And I can release others from my anger now. In some ways, it's Preparation, you know. For when we transition and things get really clear. Okay, good. Good. Include again in your awareness the earth the air and the sun. And the sounds and the sweet sensations and thoughts, the very human thoughts, you know. We include that and we smile with it. Of course we'll have thoughts. 
We're conditioned. Of course we have feelings. We're human. Hmm? We wouldn't want it another way. It's, a, it's about building a relationship to it, though, and a perspective of it, and enjoy and use this humanness, humaneness. Good. When you're ready, you can open your eyes, and of course, my cat Jackson did come join us. He drank his water out of my cup, you know. Yeah, I saw you. Any questions, please, or comments, please, I stick around for a good five, ten minutes here. If you have a question about the breath work we did, let me know. Uh, a question about the mantra. Good, Raina, that was wonderful, thank you. Uh, you are a sattva practitioner. Yes, yes, I am. Of course, I am a sattva. I was trained by Anand in sattva Himalayan Kriya Yoga. And I started training with him in 2007. So, nice to meet you, Reina, fellow, fellow sattva teacher, I assume. Good, good, yeah. Oh, you were last there last year. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, for those that have seen my other films, you know, The Road to Dharma, The Highest Pass, that features also my teacher in India and myself. And um, yeah, I've been a sattva master teacher for a long time, initiate people in Kriya meditation. And uh, like I said, Rishikesh is my second home. Absolutely. So nice to meet you, Reina. Amazing. Sarah, thank you. Thank you as well. Which breath work is best for lungs after having the flu? Cindy, amazing, amazing question. Uh, I love this um, lung cleansing set that I do. It's a 25-minute lung cleansing set, okay? It's, I don't have it out there currently. I might do this breath workshop first weekend in June, and that would be one of the three main ones I teach. And we would go deep into a lot of these breath works and pranayama so that you understand them and can use them. But in the short term, okay, I've taught cosmic breath before on this, cosmic breath three. You do a deep inhale through the nose, deep exhale through the mouth, deep inhale through the mouth, deep exhale through the nose. Deep and slow, no pausing the breath. This really expands the lungs. So... What you want to do with after the flu or anything for lungs is you want to increase their capacity again, like a muscle, and you want to cleanse them out. There's also prana shakti, breath of fire, lama yuru, um, but short of me explaining all those right now, um, that cosmic breath three can be really, really nice. Any kind of breath of fire can, it's all exhales while you pump the belly, it can help cleanse the lungs as well. But um, it's hard for me to go into it all right here, but try that one, the Cosmic Breath 3. Uh, Pax says, thank you. So thank you, Cindy, for that. Um, even just, you know, yeah. I had, when I had COVID, whatever it was, two years ago, uh, I was doing that every day. I had COVID just to keep cleansing the lungs. I was doing a 25-minute set. I led some friends in it recently when we were up at the Illuminate Film Festival. They were like, wow, wow, do you do this every day? I don't do it every day because it's 25 minutes. I have meditation and other things, but uh, it's doing that. If you did 25 minutes a day, this lung cleansing set, it's so good for the lungs. We do some of it. I do about 15 minutes of it when we go to yoga at the beach lately just to get that beach air in and really, really cleanse. So if you happen to be in LA, I do free yoga on the beach a few days a week. Again, just... Reach out to me through adam.yoga, and you're welcome to come if you happen to be visiting L.A. or you live here uh, next week. We'll, we'll do it a few times. Thank you so much. The best for lies. I always feel like a new woman after this. Exactly. Uh, paper, what's my Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is at I2, <clears throat> excuse me, I2I Productions. I can't drink the water because my cat was drinking it. He's kind of laughing at me over there. At I2I Productions, letter I, number two, letter I Productions. Okay, papers, Skyco. That's where you can find me, or Adam.yoga has all the connections to Instagram and the email for free stuff. And uh, Thank you, Reina. Home in Montreal anytime. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for that. So appreciate that. I'll come visit. I'll come visit Montreal. I, I've been there once. I loved it. Uh, wonderful, Lisa Ann. Thank you after a stressful day at work. Yes, work can can be that way. 
Sarah Coop, nice to see you. Any suggestion to help eliminate toxins from the body? Body, get lymph moving, please. And thank you for doing this. Yeah, one of the, it's one one of the breath, one of the ones for lung cleansing that I'll go over. But um, it's hard to show here. It is really hard to show here. Huh. Um, if your arms are out wide, okay, and you make fists, you bring your right hand across, knock the side over here to really stimulate the length on the exhale. Bring one finger across, your left hand, finger across, close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Open the arms wide, make a fist. As you exhale through the mouth, left arm comes across. Inhale through the right. Open the arms, exhale, come across. Makes sense because we're stimulating the lymph system by smacking there and we're also balancing the system by breathing through one nostril. That can help. There's plenty of others, but I'll give you that for now. And again, if we do the breath workshop, maybe first weekend in June, <clears throat> uh, it would be pretty succinct, meaning like four hours Saturday, eight to 12 Pacific, four hours Sunday, eight to 12 Pacific, and really go through it do three strong sets, really go through, and also you walk away with 12 different pranayamas that you can mix and match and create sets and uh, understand what they do. Is there any breath work that's helpful for alopecia, hair loss possible due to stress? You know, if it's stress, any of the ones, if you've seen any of these, you can see the recordings of these, anything for stabilizing the nervous system will help with stress, of course. You know, as a lot of Buddhist monks would even say, you know, the meditation isn't necessarily a replacement for healing or for all these modalities, but the meditation can help our body be less stressed and thus it can do its thing a little bit more. And we know that stress creates you know, resistance. So what we did today was dropping a lot of resistance. You drop some of the resistance, you allow the energy to flow more, we have less inflammation and stress and hopefully then less of those things that you're talking about, alopecia and itchy skin and, thing, and hair falling out and all these things. Yeah, uh, let's see. But you know, I'm not a, a doctor or a healer in that way, so I don't wanna be too bold, but anything to the stress reduction stabilizing meditation will of course support what you're doing. You know, absolutely. I'll take another question. Is that a Tai Chi move? No, lady with altitude, that is a Satwa Kriya. Uh, it's a Kriya that I learned from uh, my teacher in India. Sarah, wonderful. If you're on my e email list, Sarah, if you're not, just sign up at adam.yoga. Nice to see you as always. And I'm going to look at what we can, we can, we can do that now that uh, my movie is a little less demanding. Um, good. Thank you so much. Abelis. Abelis. Wonderful. I should be back next Wednesday. Is there a place I could find a link for breath workshop? Yeah. Katikodika. If you go to adam.yoga, I put it in the, um, I pinned it. Go to adam.yoga, put your name in for the email list. First of all, you'll get, for free, you'll be able to watch the 10 episode series, Road to Dharma, that I directed, uh, Motorcycling to the Himalayas. And then you'll be on the email list and I'll let you know when that workshop is coming up. And again, I'm hoping first or second weekend in June, uh, just depends on a couple film things. So I'll figure that out. So, good. Hypnotherapist, I love healing things. Wonderful, thank you, Shamba. Hypnotherapy can be very, very powerful. Very powerful. Absolutely. Good, if there's one more question, I'll take it. I really appreciate everyone coming in from all over the world, from Montreal, Canada, India. We'll do something similar to this on Monday at 11 a.m. Thank you, Marga. Yes. So if Wednesday or Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific, works better for you, just go to the website, go to my website, adam.yoga, put your email in, and I'll send you the link for free for Mondays. Yes, Kadiko, hoping the first weekend of June. Good, good, me too. I, it sounds fun to me to do that weekend as well, so. Hi, Susie, nice to see you, Susie333. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, everybody, so nice to see you. My cat Jackson says hi. Here's a little shot of him. He did come in, and there he is. There's a little man. All right. See you next time.
Great call, Al. Nice to see you. Namaste. Yes, you can. Br yes, uh, the breath work is online. S W R. Darren. Yes, it's it's on Zoom. I have people from all over the world on the Zoom. It's probably a hundred people on the Zoom on Mondays at eleven a.m. So, it's free. It's on Zoom. It's online. It's for, for everyone everywhere. So, join in. <clears throat> Come on, you'll see tons of cool, amazing people breathing and meditating together. Even my mom will show up, so you can ask her stories about me as a kid. All right, we'll see you. Namaste.